Hi, hope you're doing all right. So, uh, the wonderful hobby life for you, 38, happened this weekend, and I thought, let's sit down and talk about it. Uh, we're going to be using the website for this because I don't have Twitter, so I can't look at Ruru Pop's Twitter account, which is so sad. I do miss that. That is one thing I miss from Twitter. Um, there's not much more, though. <laughs> one last thing. Uh, do not worry about the bruise on my face. That is from punching myself in the face with a ski pole this weekend. So successful ski trip. Let's get started. <laughs> Before we get into anything, though, this video is sponsored by Bai. For those of you who don't know, Buy is a proxy service. It lets you buy off of Japanese online marketplaces like Amazon Japan, Yahoo Japan Auctions, and Mercari. And what they do is they buy or bid on your behalf. Those items get sent to their warehouse, and from there they're sent to your place. You can choose package consolidation as an option if you'd like to send multiple things in just one parcel, or you can just send everything individually. You can also add protective packaging, which is really nice for those more, you know, fragile parcels. And Buy is a really great service, especially for us collectors of anything Japanese, whether you're looking for clothing, furniture, too, um, anything you can really find off these websites. But specifically, I like to use it for <laughs> anime figure collecting, anime merch collecting, and all that kind of stuff. Um, I've used it quite a bit for that. One of the figures that I got from them was actually the uh, Noragami Hiyori figure, which was really incredible. Um, and yeah, I highly recommend them. So if you have any interest in using Buy, then first time users can sign up using the link in my description for a 2000 yen off coupon. With all that said, thank you so much to Buy for sponsoring this video and let's get to it. Actually this time. <laughs> Uh, with this drum thing that I have literally nothing to say about next, I don't know. I played that like once and I sucked because I played that once. But it's a hard game, I think. We've got some Persona stuff, but I am not your go-to Persona creator. So we're just going to pass this. I don't, I refuse to get into Persona. Their figures are beautiful. And if I actually get into Persona, that means I will have reason to buy those figures. And there's a lot of them, and a lot of them are really cool. So we're not doing that to myself, okay? I will never get into Persona because I don't have that money to spend. <laughs> I don't know who you are, but you're cool. Oh, you know what this is from? Free Rin. Okay, so Free Rin is so cool. I'm really happy that they're getting figures. Uh, it seems like it's such an interesting series. I love a good female protagonist as well, so I'm really into that. Uh, and I really want to give it a chance. I did finally get Crunchyroll back after like six months of having it deactivated because, um, I don't know, I don't know about you guys, I go through like phases in my life. I've done this my entire life where literally I will just stop watching anime for an extended period of time and I'll just focus on other things. Um, that does not apply to webtoons, shoujo manga, any kind of romance thing though. Um, I have been consistently reading that <laughs> since, but I stopped watching anime for a while. So my Crunchyroll thing was deleted, but I did get it back the other night and I was like, time to, you know, catch up on shit. And I, I finally watched the last episode of Attack on Titan. I finished Pluto. That was really great. I've watched Blue Eye Samurai like twice. <laughs> and it was time to start a new series. I really wanted to start a new series. So I had the option between uh, Free Rin, a series that from what I understand is about a immortal being who, you know, goes through life and finds meaning in the small moments of connection that, that she has with the people around her. And it's a deep story about what it means to be immortal and what it means to enjoy life. Um, from what I understand, uh, the other option was solo leveling a story about a dude that gets really powerful and hot. <sighs> So anyways, I started so <laughs> and I'm reading the webtoon right now and he does get really powerful and hot um, and I'm having a good time. We'll get to free run eventually is what I'm saying. I, that whole aside was just to say we'll get there eventually. But, you know, if they're making figures of this series that is pretty new, solo leveling is out there. I did not see any announcements on that here. Where are they? 
Where is my thirst trap figures? <laughs> the way I just did that whole roundabout thing just to be like, oh my God, isn't he so hot? <laughs> like literally that was the reason I stepped aside for this. Um, so, you know, talking about anime figures is, we're, we're, we're doing well there. Anyways, these figures look really nice. You know, they're looking good. I think this is all from that. No, this is from Delicious in Dungeon. What cute designs though. I'm loving it. Anyways, pass on all this shit because I don't know who these people are. Kaiju number eight. I should probably watch that. I have not. Okay, Marin. Um, a character I actually like know. I, I don't know, it's cute, but it's kind of the giant seam in her hair is pretty distracting, so I have nothing really more to say about that. Is that like that's pretty picky of me because I feel like it looks like everything else is on point, but it's distracting. I don't like it. Um, there's this. She's cute. Love I I don't know. Part of me was like, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'd get it. No, I fucking wouldn't. I barely pre-order anything anymore. And every single thing that I do pre-order is a Miku. And it's not on purpose, okay? They just like do really nice Miku figures and I do really love Miku. And so, guys, I'm a Miku collector now. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. That is the only thing I can like justify recently. Gojo high school version, we love that. Um, I think Guido. I'm not Guido. I think uh, Ghetto will probably be able to connect to him on this little thingy here. That's my prediction. Um, I have nothing more interesting to say about that though. Skip and Loafer. Um, I've not watched the anime. I think they did a good job on it from the little bit of clips that I've seen, but I have been keeping up with the manga and I'm fully caught up on that. But yeah, they're they're very cute. Uh, I think they're fun. I don't really like. I swear, I, I swear, I'm caught up on the series. Okay, I just am really bad with names. I don't really like this one. I don't know. She just looks more flat than he does, and I don't really know why. Either that, or he just he he looks better in a flat style than she does. But yeah, anyways, these are super cute, and I do kind of want them but I don't think I can justify like pre-ordering them or anything like that. Uh, so the goal is put them on my wish list and maybe one day I'll get them. I actually use my wish list now because I can no longer just pre-order everything I want. <laughs> Which means wish list video coming up. <laughs> Probably, maybe. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. This, this I'm excited to talk about here because I can't even, I, <laughs> okay, so I don't know about you guys, but I was an Analu shipper from a kid. I, I feel like it's like a thing that you just get very connected to a ship you had as a kid and Nalu was it for me. Okay, I they got me through reading fairy tale and watching it because I was like, oh my God, they're so cute together. All I want is for them to be together. And then, you know, whatever his name, what's his name again? Who? <sighs> Fairy tale mangaka. What's your name? I forget. Hiro Mashima. That's awful, but I love him. But anyways, so Hiro Mashima just did this thing where he like teased it for like the whole series. He just like, you know, winked at the audience. Okay. And then he like didn't even make them get it at the end. He just, he literally, which is such a power move. He literally ended the series off with a Nalu tease. He literally like, kidding get fucked and then just ended the series okay <laughs> and it was amazing but anyways now he does a hundred year quest where he's like solidified all other couples all other major couples okay he even has solidified nalu in all other universes in the series there is like multiple different dimensions and every single one of them <laughs> is canon he solidified everyone except for the Natsu and Lucy that we follow. He has not done that. He's literally like, how much can I... 
if you guys don't like slow burn, you do not like this ship, okay? Anyways, they're adorable together and I'm still rooting for them to this day. And the fact that not only have they just made a very interesting pop-up parade large of Lucy, but she's in Natsu's clothes, dude. This is my figure. This, this, this I have to get. This is, how long have I been talking about this? This is a 13 minute video and I, I don't feel like I've even really talked about figures that much. Anyways, what I'm saying is this is very exciting news, okay? And now I need to go catch up on Fairy Tale 100 Year Quest so that I can skip through everything that isn't a Nalu scene. Because that is how I have been reading Fairy Tale for a while. Which is like, aw, cute. Next, 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 Nalu? <laughs> in detail analyze every single like panel of that screen and then once it's done next 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 not <laughs> <That's, that's... laughs> so you should ship them too uh full metal alchemist uh nendroid dolls they're making lots of nendroid dolls now full metal alchemist one of edward Anyways, cute. <laughs> I don't really have much more to say to it, other than it just makes me realize I should probably do my annual rewatch of Full Metal Alchemist. Let's see. They have the ending series Nendroids. These are really cute, except I will literally never buy a Nendroid again. Which is a lie. If they made a Chongyun Nendroid, I'd buy that in a second. But <laughs> they're not doing that, so I'm never going to buy another Nendroid again. Uh, even these guys. Oh, is this Nana stuff? You know, and I could never get into Nana. Why? Because I like simple, uncomplicated romances uh, in my series. And I started Nana and I was like, this seems like a lot of work to get into. And then I never c completed it. Also, I do not watch romance anime, okay? That is strictly a reading thing for me. I cannot. Oh yeah, okay, so we have the Figma Miku and we've got the Sakura Miku Hanami outfit, which is so cute. Like, don't get me wrong, the original Sakura Miku outfit is really cute, but like it was such a waste in my eyes to have a good theme like that and like not change it up eventually. So I'm really happy that they decided to do that for the first time. And I probably would love to get this and might pre-order it, but Probably won't. I don't know. <laughs> like I said earlier, like Miku's one of the few things I can actually justify purchasing because I really do like Miku. And like, who knew that when you put time and effort into making a interesting figure that you would make lots of interesting figures, which is something to do with Miku. So she's got lots of interesting figures. Uh, there's this and there's this. This is so cute. Actually, I was like looking at the announcements more closely because I kind of did a skim of them when they first came out. Um, and then I was like, oh, I guess I'll make a video. So I started looking through them more and I realized I didn't even see this the first time and that you guys missed my genuine reaction to coming up on this page and seeing Snow Miku in a little furry bunny outfit. And I thought, what a waste. What a waste of a genuine reaction. So just know that this is so fucking adorable. This is like... <sighs> so cute and will be on my wish list. Will I pre-order her? I don't know. But two ones I will for sure pre-order the moment that they get released are these guys. <laughs> for those of you who don't know, Len is my favorite Vocaloid. I love Len, okay? But I also really do like Rin. But my favorite song of them, my favorite song is this song. And so I'm like, Absolutely, riding high, okay? Just knowing that they made these figures and they're so cute. Look, they're little, he's doing a little heart. He's doing a little heart, it's so cute. So um, that's, these are like these, yes, is all, I'm, yeah. Okay, so we are at Azur Lane. I do not play Azur Lane, but they do make really cute Azur Lane figures. Like this girly right here, Clumsy Moon Rabbit, are you kidding me? Am I gonna pick her up? Probably no, it's really hard to justify uh, buying figures now, but God, would I like to? Yeah, she's so cute. Love that. Not as much as I love the moon rabbit though, so I'm just gonna go past. Look how cool that, I love that. 
I'm not usually a big like cow person. Um, like I do love cows. Okay. Cows are so cute, but I don't know. I'm never really like, I gotta get that cow figure. Um, and that still stands true even now. I'm not going to pick her up. I do think it's a really cute cow figure though. Ooh, uh, see, I didn't see this girly before. She's adorable. Who's goddess of victory, Nikki? Nikkei. <laughs> McKay. What show is that from? Not Persona. I don't know why I thought of the actual show it's from and the word that came to my mind was Persona, but it's not Persona. Um, and you guys all know what it's from. Okay, I'm already bored of this thought. So, oh, she's very nice. Goddess Victory Nikkei as well. Is this a new game? I've never seen these people before in my life, but they're very interesting designs. I like this one, actually. I love this design and it's a Harmonia Bloom too. I'm not gonna pick it up probably because I literally couldn't even Spoiler warning for an updated pre-order video. I had to cancel my Harmonia Bloom Red Riding Hood doll Because um, I couldn't justify the price. So the fact that I had to cancel that means I probably will not be able to pick this one up But I kind of want to because I just love the design so much. I don't know what I like about it um, But I do maybe it's kind of like a shoujo -y design like who is this fake grand order? This should be a shoujo series something okay like Fresh Summer Prince? Are you kidding? Yeah, they just, uh, I really hate <laughs> that all these like games and stuff like that just have like the cutest little designs because I'll never be able to actually, like if that was a, a, a original character, I could be like, yeah, I can do it. But since it's fate, I go, well, I, I don't know fate and I can't get it. And that's how that works. That's, and I can't, <sighs> rules. They can't pick the rules. <laughs> Oh no. I wonder if I'm gonna post this video. This seems like the type of thing that I'm gonna go back and try making it like coherent. And I'm gonna be like, I, I just can't do that. I'm not coherent. So how can I try making this coherent? Like that's what this video feels like. But um, Princess Connect, oh my God. I don't know why I reacted like that. I don't even really care for this figure all that much. Oh, I love this kind of stuff. I wish I had more Nendroid dolls of like characters I knew because I they have so many like really cute designs and like things that you can put on the Nendroid dolls. Um, but what happens is I like, see Nendroid dolls of characters I know and I go, ah, the design's not that interesting so I don't pick it up. But then I also don't pick up the cute designs that I see because I don't have any dolls that I want to put it on. And it's, it's kind of like a cycle that happens over and over again. I'm like, oh my God, this is adorable. Wouldn't this look great on Edward? But then I'm like, I'm not gonna pick up Edward because he's just got his regular outfit. How boring. <laughs> also, this just seems like a very costly trap to get into as well. So I'm not particularly mad that I'm not uh, breaking the cycle, you know? Yeah, so these guys are adorable. I don't know who they are, but I just know that they have some really gorgeous figures and that the community is pretty pretty intense about them so oh yeah they made the twins from Oran high school host club speaking of series i dropped <laughs> because i did not i knew that she was not going to end up with the person i wanted i really really wanted her to end up with is it hikaru yeah <laughs> i really wanted her to end up with hikaru because of that scene where it's like the storm and they're like under the table and i was like ah. i was like you know, um, but then obviously she was not going to end up with him. And so I literally dropped the series because of that. Like I watched the whole anime when I was a kid. I used to fucking love the anime. But when I went to go read all of the manga and stuff like that, I just couldn't. I don't like, you know, it's a curse to be this attached to a particular ship. I can't even enjoy certain series because I'm like, hmm, it needs to be canon or I can't enjoy it. <laughs> Mm. You know what? I <laughs> I'm literally using this to just like talk about anime and stuff. Like I have nothing to say about the figures themselves. It's like a nendroid. It wow, you know. Yeah, like what what am I supposed to say about you, dude? Uh, nothing. Uh, 
<laughs> That's if I didn't sit down and choose to make this video. But anyways, ooh, I really like this. I have never seen someone on a swing before and I think that's adorable. And I have, oh, I really liked both of these series of like, R, R, G, G, Gridman. <laughs> both of these, and I really, really liked this girl. I thought she was so cute. Um, I should rewatch those actually. I'm not a big on mech, 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 I'm not big on it, but add in, you know, great animation, cool style, great sound design, and a little bit of romance. And I'm like, I can give it a chance. Ooh. <laughs> They're so cute. Oh my God, I remember. I really need to rewatch these because I do, I, and they're short series too, which I like. You just like finish them in a sitting, I think. I think they were like eight episodes. What's this? Rosen Maiden. I don't know. Oh my god, is that it? That's it, guys. I don't even know what to say. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I would love to hear your thoughts on the recent Wonderfest and the recent like figure pickups. If you've been pre-ordering a lot or you've been kind of like putting it aside. Personally, I've barely been pre-ordering, but again, I'll just make a dedicated video to that after, but uh, with all that said, yeah, I would love to hear your thoughts and I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you have a wonderful day and bye. <laughs>